Hey guys, Eric Kyle here, publisher of Great Lakes Scuttlebutt Magazine. I'm excited to be at the Toronto International Boat Show. This is one of the best events of the entire winter time. You gotta make it down here. It's at the Direct Energy Center. I'm standing here with Judy. She's with a company, well not really a company, more of an area. It's called the Thousand Islands area. Everybody in the Great Lakes area is probably familiar with Thousand Islands, so I want Judy to tell you guys just a little bit more about what the Thousand Islands area has to offer us boaters here in the Great Lakes. Hold on a moment. Judy, how are you today? Great, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Are you enjoying the show so far? I am. Yeah, it's kind of a pretty big population over here in Toronto, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, so the Thousand Islands area, I've been over there a couple of times. You guys have advertised with us before. Tell our boaters, why do we want to go to the Thousand Islands? We have a beautiful area for recreation, boating, camping on islands. Uh, we have boat tours, attractions, castles to visit. Um, all of our communities are approximately 10 to 15 miles on land. Uh, near each other. We cover about a 50 mile radius on the Canadian side of the river and a 50 mile radius on the U.S. side of the river. Sounds like an awful lot to do. There's a pretty good sense of community over there and all the little nooks and crannies. It's all kind of pretty exciting. Tell me about some of your favorite things to do. My favorite things to do are Bolt Castle uh -huh. near Alexandria Bay. Singer Castle is a new attraction that we have. Um, there are boat tours out of Gananoque, Ontario. Kingston, Ontario is a fantastic city to tour. Um, there are boat tours on, in, on the Canadian side out of Rockport, Gananoque, Ontario, uh -huh. Ivy Lee. They depart out of Alexandria Bay and Clayton on the U.S. side of the river. Okay. And they are opening a new attraction this year. Um, which is the Rock Island Lighthouse, which is a lighthouse on the St. Lawrence River on the Shipping Seaway. Oh. It will be open to the public for tour. Mm -hmm. and yeah. I'm sorry, go ahead. And you can tour this um, by getting a boat tour out of Clayton, New York. Okay. Well, one of the things I was going to mention is that a lot of the people already own their own boats without having to go on somebody else's boat. Where can they dock overnight, get transient uh, food, do the whole thing if we want to come by boat? Um, you can. There are several communities, transient communities, that have um, mooring at the docks. Um, all of those communities, which I just mentioned, Gananoque, Kingston, Brockville, Rockport, Ontario. Um, a lot of things are accessible to you by water. So if we wanted to go out to like any good restaurants, what's your favorite restaurant in the Thousand Islands area, Judy? I'm putting you on the spot. Oh, we really don't recommend one <laughs> over the other. <laughs> oh, such a slippery question. I think that my favorite restaurant would be the General Wolf on Wolf Island. Ah, okay. Now, I've been over there in the Clayton area as well as oh, Alexandria Bay. And I've just found a whole bunch of really neat things to do on the U.S. side of things. Is there any difference, really, between the U.S. and the Canada side of things, or it's pretty much you can come and go as you like? You can come and go as you like. You just need to check in with customs when you're going from one shore to the other. Sure. Um, but you can go back and forth uh, as much as you'd like, and um, it would be a suggestion from me to try both sides of the river. Outstanding. Well, Judy, I want to thank you for your time today. I greatly appreciate it. I know I'm putting you on the spot. You're doing a great job. We'll see you up there in the Thousand Islands area. Anything else you want to tell our boaters? We'll see you this summer. Good deal. Have a great day, Judy. Okay.